Woo, hey everyone, this is Daryl from Daily Crypto Trade Signals coming to you live, live, live from Vietnam, guys. What is going on with the crypto markets? We are seeing that everything is tanking, everything is going down. What is going on? We're going to be talking about that. I'm going to tell you what's happening and hopefully, hopefully, hopefully you guys will stop the panic, guys. And is this going to be a long-term thing? Is that it? We're going down uh, to the depths. Are we going to be crashing down like the Titanic? So we're going to be talking about that and much, much more out there, guys. So I know that most of you are watching. I'm not feeling good right now. We're feeling pretty, pretty poo poo matter out there, uh, if that's a word, guys. So, uh, guys, let's jump into the content without any further delay. I've got my lucky, my lucky dragon shirt on, guys. I got the lucky dragon shirt on, guys. So hopefully, 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 this will, uh, you know, take the markets up, guys. So let's jump into it. Remember, none of this is financial advice. I'm the OG, and. Uh, Smash the likes already. What are you waiting for? Smash the likes. And guys, do go back and watch my latest uh, video. Uh, we did have uh, a live stream about seven hours, guys. Uh, so go watch that urgent warning. And this really talks about what is going on and what is causing uh, the whole debacle right now. So interesting, interesting. We are seeing that the pre-markets are still positive. So why, why, why is crypto dumping? Well, guys, this is why crypto is dumping. Bitcoin and Ether drop 5% in massive sell-off as market continues to digest Silvergate. So, as you guys know that a Bitcoin plunge up to 22,277, we saw uh, Ethereum. Ethereum went down to 1563 as crypto tumbled during the opening hours in of uh, East Asia's uh, trading day. So, not only did we see that that we had this whole Silvergate flood that was spreading, we also had Coinbase Coinbase uh, basically went down. You know, around about, uh, you know, 9 o'clock, 9.30 in the morning, Coinbase went down. So we had this whole Silvergate drop, you know, Silvergate's uh, the stock tank like 50%. So Bitcoin and Ethereum both dropped 5% as customers fled crypto bank Silvergate, whose stock tumbled 58%. Now remember, Crypto.com, uh, Binance, they have like, okay, they've turned off all of the onboarding, offboarding with uh, Fiat out there. So that is not a good look. So their stock tumbled 58%, as I said, U.S. trading Thursday. Most of the other 10 largest cryptocurrencies by Marquez saw declines, guys. So we saw a humongous, humongous amount of declines, guys. And you can see right here, look, bang, you know, we're right here, uh, 1.02, and bang, bang, we just like went down. We just went down like crazy. It was a massive bedlam, massive panic out there. Institutions are a bit jumpy as Silvergate seem to have be having issues. And remember, one of the issues was that their their quarterly report that they're supposed to file, you know, it didn't happen. So, you know, that is why the tank, the the the, the stock tank. So they're supposed to file with these people out there, but they didn't. Okay, so that is why people are panicking. So it's, it's not good, guys. So the rapid sell took a toll on all major cryptos, which began experiencing connected connective connectivity issue. So the rapid sell-off took a toll on major crypto exchanges. Coinbase, which began experience connectivity issues at 1020, Hong Kong time. Other major crypto exchanges like Binance, Bitfinex, KuCoin, OKX, and Kraken did not report similar issues, but there were issues, guys. So Bitcoin's price fell as low as $22,000, guys. Wow, wow, wow. Ethereum fell as low as $1,550. Wow. So this is not good, guys. This is not good. Bitcoin's market cap declined by over $20 billion. 20 billion to 439 billion, according to uh, coin market cap uh, out there. So it is not a good day out there. We're going to be talking about how long we think it's going to be lasting. You know, more news: crypto market witnessed 20, 220 million dollars liquidations in 12 hours, and that is true, guys. If you take a look at the if you take a look at the leverage apes out there, you can see that huge, huge liquidations, huge. Huge, massive, massive liquidations out there. And this was all long positions being wrecked, guys. A lot of long positions are being wrecked. Some people did, some people who had short positions, they made out a ton. They made a ton, a ton, a ton. So it's not a good look out there. We saw $221 million worth of wreckage out there. And that was following, uh, you know, all of this Silvergate announcement, right? So following problem with crypto exchange, such as Coinbase announcement, which made its distance with Silver Silvergate Bank. So this is kind of like, uh, you know, a very similar kind of, you know, negative FUD. I mean, Silvergate, which is a crypto cryptocurrency friendly bank, and they're used to onboard, have on ramps and off ramps from crypto exchanges for US uh, US dollar out there. So. You know, it's, it's just a debacle, guys. Just a debacle. 
just a debacle. So we're seeing larger crypto Bitcoin price uh, went down to 22K in a matter, a matter of minutes out there, a matter of freaking minutes. Furthermore, Elon Musk's favorite uh, cryptocurrency, Dogecoin, is also facing massive liquidation, about 4.7. So we saw massive, massive liquidations everywhere, guys. So not a good look out there. Uh, Bitcoin right now, if you take a look at Bitcoin historical returns, so far March is a Debbie freaking downer out there. Talk about massive, massive longs got liquidated. That's not helping. We're seeing the S&P, even though the S&P is going up, crypto is tanking, guys. Pre-markets are looking good. S&P is looking fine and dandy on the hourly. Looking good, guys. So it looks like we definitely decouple from the broader markets. Look at DXY. DXY is going down, right? We got the S&P up. We got the DXY going down. So why is crypto going down? Because people are scared. People are absolutely scared out there. Let's take a look at total market cap uh, out there. So we're seeing a, a pretty bad day, a pretty much a bloodbath out there. Everything is down 22,300 for Bitcoin, uh, 1566 for Ethereum. BNB is down, guys. XRP is down. Cardano is down. Matic is down as well. Matic and uh, Doge are kind of fighting it out for the top spots out there. So it's just a nasty day out there. If you look at the heat map, nothing good. Absolutely nothing good out there. Uh, Bitcoin, look at that dump ski out there. Look at the dump ski, but we are. We are starting to uh, print a green candle. I mean, from my perspective, if I look at the Bitcoin chart, this was just a, a you know a black swan event. Uh, it's a it's fun. I think that we will probably recover. I think we'll probably get ourselves back up to twenty thousand dollars. Hopefully, hopefully by early morning Asia time tomorrow when I wake up and I make the next video. Well, the next video is going to be at about ten o'clock tonight. But when I make the next video, hopefully, hopefully we will see that we'll be back above twenty three thousand. I'm hoping it's going to happen. Weekly disgusting, uh, big resistance 25,000. Now we got resistance forming at 24,000, so it's not a good look. Ethereum tankage, huge tankage, 5%, well below my descending line, not looking good at all. Some news that's coming in, the Silver, Silver Bank liquidate, liquidity concerns are another short-term sentiment killer. So we're seeing that, you know, these the, the liquidity problems with Silvergate Bank has really pushed down the sentiment, not not looking good. So you're seeing that uh, it's it's not a good look out there. And that is why we pushed this down. So some people are saying that we got resistance here. And some people say that we could be going down to, to 21.6, guys. So I have to keep an eye on that. If 22.8 cannot be overcome, we'll likely retest 21.4. So, you know, we need to definitely get 20, past 22.8. Right now, as I said, Bitcoin right now is trading trading at uh, 22.3. So we need to get past 22.8. If not, then 21,400 is definitely going to be our next support level out there. So it looks like, uh, you know, Bitcoin dropped into the macro bottoming area as dictated here. And so Bitcoin is now here, guys, looking pretty poopoo schmatter out there. And uh, bottoming area is dictated by historical BTC death cross price tendencies out there. Recently, BTC has been rejected from the top of the macro area here, and it's just a matter of time. We definitely need Bitcoin to get itself above the 200-day moving average. If we can do that, then we will wick up, guys. But uh, it looks like, you know, 22,800 is a key level of uh, support. We need to get past above that. If we can't, we're going down, guys. We're definitely going down. Looks like Bitcoin factuals, so this is more positive, more bullish. If we take a look at the fractals here and here, uh, we are seeing something very similar out there. And uh, right now we're at, uh, according to this, we're around about $22,000. So hopefully this this same pattern will pan out, pan out, and we'll definitely re retrace and go back up. But definitely 22,800 is definitely the area we need to look at right now. So, you know, even though that things are going down, we're still seeing that more shrimps and more crabs are accumulating more Bitcoin, and that is pretty good. A lot more hodlers out there. So Shiba Inu versus Dogecoin, ship beats Doge, ship beats Doge in three different categories in 2023. Oh, no. So what is going on ship versus uh, Dogecoin and social attraction? So the latest uh, data from Luna Crush suggests that Shiba Inu has received 22.01 million social mention media engagements up until March 2023. SHIB took four spot in social engagements and remains below uh, Bitcoin with uh, 231 uh, million. And uh, Giga is at 167, Ethereum at 13462. So Dogecoin, on the other hand, only has 17.44 million. So it looks like Shiba Inu has definitely be, beat a Dogecoin in terms of social, um, uh, social, men, uh, social mentions. So top crypto social engagements, according to Luna Crush, is BTC, uh, XG, Ethereum, Shib, Solana, and Dogecoin, guys. So 
Yeah, 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 yeah. So Dogecoin, if you're a Dogecoin holder, that is not good. So top five traded assets, it uh, looks like uh, India's CoinWatch Crypto Exchange announced that Shiba Inu was the most traded asset on the platform last week. Should be Bitcoin, Ethereum, ICP, LRC, who came below Doge. So the top traded cryptocurrencies uh, in India right now is LRC, ICP, Ethereum, uh, BTC and SHIB and Doge is like way way down there guys so not looking good for the Doge as well price movements looks like we're seeing that uh, Shiba Inu spiked 77 percent between January and mid-February 2023 before retracing SHIB is down three percent in the last 30 days on the other hand Dogecoin rallied in 2023 and either uh, dipped in price or mostly remained sideways it's now down 22 percent so guys Shiba Inu is outperforming uh, in the short term, but in the long term, in the long term, if we take a look at who's in the money uh, right now, let me give this a minute to refresh. We're seeing right now, Dogecoin 111, we're seeing that Dogecoin is up, uh, Dogecoin holders in the money is 45%. If we contrast that with Shiba Inu, only 34%. So on the long term basis, uh, Dogecoin is doing better, but on the short term basis, definitely, definitely, we're seeing that uh, Shiba Inu is doing much better, guys. So interesting, interesting fun facts out there, guys and gals. Remember, and all of this you see is financial advice, guys. Don't forget to go down and lick the like, smash the likes out there. I appreciate it. It looks like we're seeing 4.5 million, do million Dogecoin have been liquidated uh, in terms of Silvergate uncertainty. So that is not good, guys. Absolutely not good. A ton of liquidations out there, a ton, a ton of liquidations. And we can actually drop into it. We're seeing that in the last 24 hours, we're seeing Bitcoin, Ethereum, Dogecoin, number three, guys, guys. Uh, Dogecoin is getting shorted, guys. People have been shorting their crap -a lulu out of Doge. Stop leverage trading already. Stop leverage trading. It's not a good look out there. So right now, for the price of Dogecoin, Dogecoin is still above the 0.75. We got some very good support there. So I'm pretty bullish about that. That if this, if we can hold, I believe, I believe that we will retrace back up to eight cents. And if we want to get ourselves up to eight cents, we've got to go up around about this level. We've got to go up around about five percent. 5% will take us back up to 8 cents. So I think we'll recover. I think in the next 48 hours, this whole Silvergate thing will wash out. Wouldn't worry about it too much. If you take a look at what's going on in terms of the uh, Dogecoin tokenomics right now, we are seeing that Dogecoin is at 07597, exactly at our support level. That is holding firm. Uh, volume is at f uh, over half a billion dollars, up 142% guys out there a lot of selling a lot of selling uh, pressure right now and we're seeing the mark cap is at 10.078 out there so if you take a look at what's going on with shibi weeby right now pretty much similar situation out there shibi weeby went all the way down to the 1100 support i believe that uh, in the next 48 hours we'll see ourselves back above 1200 that's what i'm thinking that's what i'm freaking thinking out there uh we're also seeing that right now the do the shibi inu token i'm seeing a shibi inu right now up 67 percent in terms of volume and guys this is a good time to dca absolutely a good freaking time to dca guys i will be doing that and guys don't forget we got limited edition t-shirts coming get into that and also guys if you're if you're watching and you're not getting notifications go down to the links below and get into our discord it's absolutely free guys if you got a hardware wallet uh, if you got a hardware wallet that's fantastic if you don't remember if you don't have the keys you don't own the crypto get a hardware wallet. check out the links guys so from my perspective i still think that this is a good time to dca uh you're seeing a lot of stuff on sale right now uh you know cardano a good pickup definitely um poly polygon a good pickup uh, Matic is a good pickup. So anything that's uh, lower than 10%, you may want to think about picking up DCA, not financial advice, of course, but that's what I'm doing. I did pick up one Bitcoin today as well, so I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, I am in the money a little bit uh, with that. So I did DCA on uh, Bitcoin. So guys, that's going to bring this video to a closey, woozy, woozy. So guys, be blessed, be well, and guys, before we leave, before we leave, a little bit of a, a quickie, quickie message to all of you out there. Don't forget to follow me on my Twitter. Follow, follow, follow. Let me just pull up uh, that so you can see where that is. Uh, you can follow me right here, guys. Follow, follow. We got uh, 6,670, so follow me right freaking now. I appreciate it. Guys, don't forget to get the merch, guys. Check out the merch. Get the merch, and uh, check out all the links, guys. So I'll see you next time. Be blessed, be well. Peace out.